day I'm just making the um, pipe fitting for my um, outlet of the gas from the uh, bio gas digester. Um, this is a 15mm bit of pipe fitting I've got. I'm making a thread inside the, uh, the pipe fitting here using a tap. Just making the uh, thread nice and clear. Get up as far as I can. And then uh, come back off it. And there should be a nice clear thread in there for this bayonet pipe fitting to go into. And then this will then go on the outlet of the um, pipe fitting of the actual di of the um, digester in a minute. Okay, I've wrapped some um, PTFE tape around the uh, end of the um, bayonet fitting and uh, I'm going to screw this up nice and tight on the end of the piece of pipe. I just made a thread in, make it as tight as I can so there's no air, air leaks. That's all. Kind of nice and tight. Try to do this one end at the moment, the hole in the camera. There we go. That's in nice and tight. Ready to be fitted into the um, biogas generator. Okay. Okay, I'm going to remove the um, screw fitting. Pop this onto the end of that. Stick it into there. It's got a nice tight fit, that is. Right down firmly, screw in, and that's airtight. So that's where the gas can come out of. Out through this tube, there's my valve to on off. That's on and off, and I'll put that a pipe onto the end of that. Go out to my um, bubbler or safety valve. Okay, okay, so I'm about to seal this all down now. This is my feeding in pipe for these for the waste to go down into. There's the cap, and uh, that will fit on top of there. I've put some silicone around here last week. It's gone hard now. I'm going to put some more silicone around in a minute to make sure it's all airtight around the edge here, and then um, screw it down, seal it up. Then I'm going to start using some um, waste to, to make some gas with. I'm going to um, start using. Decided I'm going to use this is food waste. This, this is potato peelings and um, uh, carrot peelings grounded down. Uh, it looks disgusting, but that's all it is. Um, I've decided not to use cow dung because it's going to stink too much in the neighbourhood here. So I'm going to use. I've got rabbits. I've got a dog. I'm going to use their droppings in the, in the digester as well, as well as all the food waste we have in the house. Uh, it take a while to fill this thing up and. Um, similar results I like in a few weeks time. So that's what I'm up to now. I'm about to put this in in a minute and uh, seal this down. Okay that's pretty much sealed up now all around the, around the edges with silicone sealant. Um, I've checked the gaps, there's no gaps in there. I leave that to cure now for a day or two then I'll start loading up with um, rubbish and stuff. That's so far so good. Nice to see if it works. Right, I've just let it cure for about an hour now. It's gone pretty hard in there, but it needs a lot longer than that. Just blew some air into it and uh, turned the valve off. And I'm just checking it now for air tightness, and it's pumping out some air. If I turn the valve on. Hear that gas coming out, air coming out. So that's been pretty airtight there now. Pretty cool. This is airtight now anyway. <laughs>